Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and I hope you all had a great holiday weekend. I got a model kit. Uh, not expected, but I got a model kit for Christmas. As you can see, it's the Reliant from Wrath of Khan. We've got Khan himself, Mr. Ricardo Montebal, looking smooth like rich Corinthian leather. We got the Reliant, some phaser fire coming to and fro on the side of the box. We got this quote. Uh, something about meals and cold meals and revenge. And then the sides of the box, these pictures of the ship. Uh, this kind of shows you the decal sheet here. And then there's that. The back, it's just got some pictures of the ship. As you can see by the roll bar here, it does have damage decals. So if you wanted to battle damage this guy up, like it is at the uh, towards the end of the movie, you can do that. Uh, the kit does not come with the um, Aztec decals, though. It just shows all these Aztec decals not in the kit. It's just these. These you would have to buy extra, I believe. So, let's take the kit out and take a look at all the parts. Oh, before that, here you go. On the sides of the box... These are your decal instructions. And as you can see, even without the Aztecs, there are a lot of decals here. And they go all over the place. Yeah, we got lots of the, uh, lots of decals. And um gives you a nice color guide here. You got ghost gray, black, duck egg blue, rust, and clear blue. Is it clear blue? And uh, there's the back there. So yeah, a lot of decals, even though this does not come with the Aztecs. Let us start with our clear plastic. We're actually going to take this out of the bag. Because I haven't looked at it yet. So here we go. We got our nacelles, the inboard nacelles. Now, during the movie, you never saw the Reliant at warp, so these were never uh, lit up. You have your two crystals. Not sure why the ship had two, but there was one on the top and one on the bottom. These are for your impulse engines here, these two things. And there are your roll bar mounted photons, your forward and reverse launchers. So uh, yeah, this ship is armed to the teeth. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's got these six phasers on the hull. It's got phase cannons up here, which are a little bit more hefty. And it's got forward and reverse mounted torpedoes, two, two. Yeah, this thing loaded for bear. We got your hulls. Hull, top and bottom. And these are actually really detailed. There's some nice detail on these. So we'll look at the top half first real quick. You can see uh, those trenches there. Nice detail in those trenches. I mean, really small too, one one thousand scale, and in uh, these up here, a nice amount of detail on this for such a small scale. And this is a snap tight kit, so you got lots of pins, lots of locators. You got little snap in parts. These little things is, are where parts snap in, if you so desire, or you glue them too. So yeah. Surprising amount of detail. Um, there, there's a few things missing, uh, but they, I believe, are on the decal set. Like uh, you notice, there's no windows along here, and the observation windows aren't back here. But those are on the decals. So here's the bottom half. Again, nice amount of detail, especially back here where you've got all these greeblies, and you've got your secondary crystal here. Very, very nice. And again, this just pops together like this just go together nicely um the marker lights are done they're little nubs if you wish to just paint them the phasers those are tiny phasers you look there's my thumb next to the phasers very small uh here's our base i'm not going to take this out it's just a standard base here's your metal rod the cool thing about the oh it's coming open anyways uh the cool thing about this is you have this little piece in here 
Yeah, let's actually take this out because I want to show this off. I didn't realize this kit came with this. This is for the top of the rod the ship connects into. This is your standard connection. So you put this end in the rod and you put this end in the ship. Uh, this other side, you put this into the rod and it has a ball. So there's a ball joint. So you put it into the connector here and you can actually pitch and yaw it. Pitch, yaw, the ship as you desire. I like that option. I think I will go with the ball joint. Um, we'll talk about the build plan in a minute here. Let's take out the rest of the plastic. Not a ton of parts, not a very complex model, or ship for that matter. Okay, so uh, the prominent ones are your nacelles, and the, these are the outboard right here. Here's your inboard where those inserts go. We have uh, your top of the roll bar where the photon launchers are. Here are your phase cannons right here and right here. Here is your planetary sensor. Uh, the ends of these are just flat. There's no detail on the end of these, uh, but this is fairly detailed. Your bridge, which is also fairly detailed. It's got the rings on it. It's got those little uh, cylinders. It's even got the beacon light at the back. Uh, I think this is part of uh, something. It's part of your, yeah, this is part of the roll bar, or the, this is part of this. So that's what's on that sprue. Uh, let's put these over here. Here's the rest of your pieces. We got the front parts of your nacelles. We have the pylons themselves. We have something that I wish they would have done on the 1350. Separated these things from the actual um, engines here, the nacelles. So you could paint them and then put them in. I seriously don't know why they didn't do that in the 1350. That would have been so helpful. Just paint these and pop them in at any point in time. Again, very nice. We've got the rear section with your two shuttle bays. Oh, with some nice detail on there. There's where your impulse, the clear parts, pieces for your impulse go. Here's the bottom of the roll bar. And here are the top two pieces of that roll bar. Uh, here are the tips of your phase cannons. Rear and front. And I think that's about it for plastic. So not, not a ton of parts. As you should expect. I mean, it's, it's a saucer with engines and some guns. Uh, here are the instructions. We'll look at these real quick. Should be fairly simple. Uh, and it is. Oh boy, look at that. Nice Federation symbol in the background there. Uh, you're putting your hull halves together. Putting them together. You're putting your pylons together. Your engines together. Your roll bar together. And plopping everything on. Uh, the one thing interesting that I noticed in these instructions... Uh, part of that pylon actually goes into the nacelle to help reinforce it. Uh, I really like that design idea. Let's see if I can show that off. Where are the... Yeah, like this part of the pylon here, or this part here, that's actually in the nacelle. That I do approve of. So, you know, very basic instructions. Where it gets exciting for me... Uh, this right here. And I've already opened these up to look at them. All of your decals. And there are quite a few. Again, no Aztecs, but look at what you get. You get all this really nice and actually really detailed battle damage. You can actually see uh, superstructure and sparks and all sorts of stuff inside here. I really like the detail on these. I probably won't be using these, but I definitely will be saving these if I ever want to use them on a spaceship or heck, anything really that's got substructure. You can put this on a model ship. But yeah, you've got a lot of very nice detailed decals all die cut. Uh, it only has the Reliant. You can't build this as any of the other Miranda class ships, but that's okay. I want the Reliant. Look at all this pinstriping. I didn't know the Reliant had that, this much pinstriping on it for the back of the shuttle bay there. There's the bridge right there. Um, actually, I'm not seeing a decal for the uh, that observation window, so we might have to just 
color that in. It would be on this. The, the thing I like about this is it's one big decal. It's got the pinstriping and the gray, so you don't have to paint the gray. It does have the windows, but uh, yeah, I'm not seeing the observation windows, which we will probably just have to put in. Uh, this is for your bridge, just around your bridge base. Got all kinds of neat little decals. You even have decals for the RTS thrusters right here. And the phaser banks. Unfortunately, uh, the nubs aren't cut out on the decal, so... And I got these. I'm not even sure what these are. So, a lot of cool stuff. Oh, there's your shuttle base. One and two. There's for your impulse, uh, around your impulse surrounds, so you don't have to paint those. You got your nice sensor bands and all the windows. These are all windows on the sensor bands. And there's win uh, windows on the hull. I think uh, on the sides of the hull here. On these. And on, uh, on these in here. You've got windows in this section here and on this section here. And those are all decals for those. Got your pendants. Got your nice registry right there. So uh, a lot of really nice detailed decals. So that is a look at the kit itself and everything that comes with it. Got to make sure the uh, glossy side is down to protect those decals. So, uh, I actually plan on building this more or less out of the box. I'm not going to light this one. Uh, if I do build a, another Reliant, it'll be the bigger one, which I really hope Polar Lights reissues and tweaks that, that larger a AMT one because um, that would be really cool. I would definitely buy that. So, we're not going to light this. We are just going to build this out of the box primarily. What I plan to do, or what I would like to do, is do... Uh, pretty much a live stream a live stream build of this except uh, except for the painting uh, this is one of those kits where I could get all the painting done and then I could assemble it so all you'd be missing really is me with some you know some primer and some flat white and that's pretty much all I'm gonna do except for uh, very few details like uh, the, these things on the nacelles which we might just paint on camera because I could just paint these by hand and the little crystals just get a dot of blue uh, but some of the major stuff I paint like um, like these these recesses here just paint those separately maybe you could even do this with I could, I could do these on camera with a sharpie if I so desire but we'll see I at least want to get a nice white on here and the reason I'm not just not building it up because I, I just it looks plastic uh, I want some paint on here and especially in here I do need to paint these just mask these off and paint those. And uh, a few little, little things in here. I don't get paint. Looking at the... Yeah, some of that stuff gets paint. I'll have to look at some screenshots. But I think these are actually should be a different color. The little indents here. And some of this stuff in here. I know these get a darker kind of blue color. Kind of a blue-gray. Almost like a sky blue. So anything that we don't decal, I'll just paint beforehand. Some of this stuff I think gets painted as well. Uh, let's see... They do a shot on yeah it does you can see under here that's what that gets painted just a little gray dark gray light gray pretty simple paint job there so yeah I don't know how much of that painting I do on camera definitely not the white maybe I'd mask these off and do them I don't know I don't know tell me what you guys think should I do this live should I just live stream this uh, build I can even live stream the, uh, the painting, some of it. So, yeah. Tell me what you think. Anyways, that is the review and the, kind of the build plan for this. Uh, hope Again, I hope you guys had a great uh, Christmas. I'm running out of stuff to stay, and uh, I got to get going. <laughs> so I'm in a little bit of a hurry. So uh, thank everyone for watching. And until next time, you guys, take care.